This is Ritesh Srinivasan and welcome to my channel. In this video, let's look at the demo of Donut OCR. Donut stands for Document Understanding Transformer. This is a paper which I have covered previously. Uh, it is about a new method of document understanding. It utilizes an OCR free end to end transformer model. It doesn't require off the shelf OCR engines or APIs. Uh, yet they claim that it shows state of art performances on various visual document understanding tasks such as visual document classification or information extraction. Okay, so that is a claim over here. Let us look at a demo of uh, this. Okay, before going to the demo, let's look at short uh, this thing of how this uh, document OCR works. Okay, or donut, what is it? So this is a transformer encoder model where an image is actually tokenized and then sent to, uh, as an input. And then there is a transformer decoder as well where you have a prompt and a particular task which is given. So if it is parsing, it parses the document. If it is uh, visual questioning answering, then it is for visual question answering. If it is for classification, it classifies the document into a certain class. Okay. Now this particular demo, which I'm going to show is actually being trained on the chord data set. Okay. So this is the demo on the chord data set. And if you go to the chord data set paper, the documents looks like this right and if you go to slightly details of the chord data set uh, if you were to go to the details of the chord data set uh, there are some this is how when it is parsed it looks like so if it is dot menu dot nm then it is name of menu this is identification number of menu this is the unit price this is the quantity and so on okay so now let's go to the demo so basically in this demo i had to make a small change of installing gradio otherwise it was not working so this is it install uh, it is a gradio app so let's go to the app and uh, let's clear everything okay let's upload an image and let's see what happens let's upload this invoice image okay let's submit it so this invoice image looks like this okay so if you look over here ideally the menu items are this and this is the total which needs to be parsed, right? But if you look at the uh, output, it picks up every line over here and it says as an uh, menu item and it also says the count and then it says a price. Okay, and if you see over here, it is picking up the wrong things over here as, uh, you know, the items. But if you are to go to this particular subtotal part again, this is the subtotal part over here where you have this 200, 300, 500, 538. Again, if you were to look at over here, it is not really parsing it properly, but the total it is picking up from this. Okay. So if you were to consider this as a document parsing task and parsing this particular document and extracting certain things based on this card data set. Okay. Where you have this menu dot sub item. I see that the results are not really satisfactory. Okay. But one image is not enough, right? So let's maybe try some other image. Okay, let us upload another image, say invoice one. Let's see how it looks like. So invoice one looks like this. Okay, let's submit it. So I have invoice uh, one over here. Now ah, this is invoice one. So I expect these to be picked up as menu items and this as a total. Let us see how it has performed. It picks up everything, even the first item as a menu item. And if you look at, yeah, it has picked up this front end rear back cable uh, number 230. Uh, let's go to the image. Yeah, front end bare rear cable. Uh, it's actually only one quantity, right? And unit price is 100, 100. So how, do, how has it picked it up? It has picked it up as uh, front end rear brake cables 230. Whereas it should have been over here, front end rear bare cables. 100 100 so it's not really parsing it properly from whatever test i have done over here if you look at the, this thing new set of pedal arms 5 3 15 okay uh, new set of pedal arms quantity uh, this is just a number unit price is 15 so quantity is 2 so 30 but somewhere it is picking up 3 over here so it has not actually done everything properly, but the total price, it says 154 again over here. Yeah, the total price has been picked up properly over here. Right, uh, subtotal price 145 tax price. Let's see that particular part. 
subtotal tax yeah probably it has picked up this so it is doing some kind of parsing but not you cannot directly use this that is what is my conclusion maybe let's look at one more image uh, let's say pick up invoice 3 and see uh, this is a similar looking image but let's see how it comes over here so invoice 3 do i have it over here yeah i have it over here so here it is front end design restructure unit price custom icon package uh, some mouse pad gandhi mouse pad okay so let's go over here and see what it is yeah i don't see it no it has not picked up that part at all maybe because of this handwriting thing presence over here but it is picking up the total price so yeah it's not really performing that invoice uh, extraction and parsing in a proper manner is what i am seeing uh, maybe do i have a different invoice let's look at this invoice right invoice 2 and see how it picks up over here invoice 2 let's see how it picks up okay so uh, it picks up some some of these numbers as price but let's see if it can pick up these things design development mailing system and some prices around that development 85 uh, 8500 you are no no actually yeah it is this 85 hours over here it is picking that as euros and uh, yeah total is this rate is this so let's see I don't think it has been parsing anything properly over here. Now again it is showing poor performance. So my conclusion uh, is this that this is a problem with uh, say deep learning systems where uh, you know you have some benchmarks on which you put out some good results but then the model doesn't work on real world data means it doesn't generalize well on real world data as seen in this example. If it were to generalize probably it should have been able to pick up something from over here and show it in a proper manner even though if you look at the images over here they are slightly different right but maybe if these kind of images are given this model will work but what about if the images change right so then there should be a way to actually for you to re uh, train using you have to generate some synthetic uh, data sets and retrain this particular uh, donut model maybe it might work okay so this was a short demo video on the donut document understanding transformer ocr uh, i will be putting the link of this demo and all these resources uh, for the core data set as well as the papers in the description of the video if you like the video please like share subscribe to the channel see you in another video happy learning